Jeffrey, congrats on the win. Maybe five or six years ago we were regular on the Euro Tour and on TV, but the past few years we haven't seen much of you. Did you almost forget how it felt to play on TV on the big stages and how does it feel to be back then? Well, the, the first European Tour, that was, that was a tough one. I got, I got very nervous because it's new again. And, uh, I was gone for five years as well, so I felt it, it was tough to be on the stage. But I, at this point, I feel like from the... I, I was usually not a, not a good player on stage. And uh, the, late, the last few games, it's going better and better. So maybe I should just play on stage instead. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, with this great form, uh, you're, I'm assuming you're going to Q school. Uh, if you do get that tour card, will you be able to play on the tour next year? Because the midweek pro tours are coming. Do you have? Uh, do you still work in Sweden? And how would that work? Uh, I'm definitely going to play the pro tour, and uh, I need to figure out a way. But my work is uh, they're, they're quite good for me. So they they feel like for me, if you go for sport. You can uh, you can take free whenever you want, so that uh, they just want to know in advance, so I can combine it or maybe take take some free some time off. Yeah, and on social media we can see uh, your fitness has improved a lot. Is, do you think that's helped you become a better dance player? Yeah, I think so. Uh, when you feel good, you play good, I would say. But uh, I kind of need to get back on a diet again. It feels <laughs> it feels like. <laughs> and yeah, finally starts in Sweden. How is it? And. Would you like to try and break into that World Cup team potentially? We saw them have a good run this year. Do you think we can see you there next year? Uh, well, if, if I get a two cut, and, uh, then it's almost guaranteed that I can play. But it was it was never my goal to play for Sweden in the, from the moment that I moved there. All right, thank you, Robert. Why did you why did you start for Sweden now? Uh, how did you come to that change? Uh, one more time. Uh, why did you do you start for Sweden now? Oh, yeah, my girlfriend. Uh, when I when I was back in uh, 2015, I got a got a girlfriend from Sweden, and then uh, when I was, when I got my two card straight after, then it was easier for me to travel from uh, from Sweden than for her to move to another country. Okay. So I just I just went that way, and I never went back. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, do, you have, do you see other advantages now that you start from Sweden? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, for I, I wouldn't say advantages because uh, you still need to play good. Um, it's it's a tough it's a tough tough competition the PDC Nordic Baltic. Uh, people, people might might think from yeah, but you go there and you qualify mainly, so it's it's an easier uh, competition. But it's uh, it's not easy at all. Uh, the the tournament that I qualified for, as I always I had to play two games nearly hundred in average to to get through to the US. Is it an extra motivation for you um, that um, for every 180 um, Paddy Power um, donates uh, 1,000 pounds? To hit more 180s, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm trying, but uh, the 140s are going a lot easier than the 180s. <laughs> Does it uh, play any role in, in your head when you're no. on stage? No, no, it doesn't. Uh, I, I want to win my game, and that's the, the most thing. Even if uh, if my first two darts are on the on, on trip 20, and I feel like from now they can drop out, I'm not going to try to hit a 180 just uh, because they're sponsoring, uh, we're sponsoring money because uh, it could happen to be a zero and you can lose the leg. So I, I definitely want to win the leg. But it's, uh, I, I do think it's a, it's a great thing and I will try to hit as many 180s as I can, of course. So. Thank you. Yeah, of course.